Previously on. What do you want? I just want to make sure you're fucking alive, bro. You know how it goes. Stare too long into the abyss, the abyss will stare right back at you. Yeah, that's Taking depression. Wow. Sorry, V. Thought you'd cream the competition, but guess you're not as sharp as I thought. Well, you know what? If this was a katana competition, I would have literally slayed. I do not understand. Does Arasaka not have enough of its own people? Look around, sir. Things are heating up in the city. <laughs> He's got the gift of the gab. Can't be denied, but I need to steal your buddy for a sec. What are you? Shh. Shut up. Come on. We gotta go over the plan. Especially since we gotta make sure that it isn't too fucked up. Goro, v? good to see you. As it is to see you, V. Wow. I acquired some information of my own. Really? Do you know who most wish to honor Arasaka-sama with the parade? His murderer. The irony makes me sick. I can only imagine since you wasn't there to stop it, but yeah. What's in it for your Nobu? Doesn't seem like the kind who'd care to honor tradition. That is so. Japanese heritage is one element. Yorinobu will also put on a display of power. Uh. The floats are sure to be beautiful, but the wise and I will see in them a hidden message to his foes. What message that be? I am here, Gumin Domo. Watch your backs. Not one for subtlety, is he? Still don't see how this gets us anywhere. I have had an idea. Look to the sky. Oh, okay. The dash floats will pass precisely this way. Hmm. If I could just get onto Hanako-sama's float, I could speak with her in private. Get there how? Why jump? Of course. Of course! Let's go ahead and jump. Like, so easy to do. If it wasn't for a fact that there's a possibility you can fucking die. Expectations way too high, Goro. Couldn't pull that off even if you had your fancy implants. I have thought of a solution. What's that? While you are occupied with your shady dealings, hmm. I learned more about the floats. They are all kept in one place, Arasaka Industrial Park. It is there that they prepare them. We need only to break into the compound, find the right float and inject a virus into its system. You will then be able to disable any security before I sneak inside. Gotta be honest. Net running's not my forte. It is even less mine. Oh shit. I have an infected shard. Oh. It was not cheap, but the man who sold it to me guaranteed it will work. Alright, better than nothing, I guess. Give it to me. Let us move on. All right, so... To take control of the float is one thing, but not all. The security concerns me, the snipers especially. I will be an easy target. But I may have an answer. Okada-san mentioned the city camera. If we gain access to them, we will see exactly where the snipers are. You can deal with them as I advance. Sounds like a plan. You agree just like that? The risks are considerable. Yeah, well, get more and more used to that. And now, what would you say to a small test? We must try the shard. The camera control room is in front of us. You must get inside and infect the network. That is all. Uh-huh. And in the meantime, you'll do what? Crack open a can of suds? I would not touch alcohol. At work. How professional. I'll watch your back. Now, get to it. <laughs> get to it. Yeah. Alright, so let me go ahead and test this bad boy here. Damn, I'm buff as fuck if I'm able to open up the door like that. Shit. Nice. Honestly, though, 
the more we go over the plan, the more I realize that it's basically a suicide mission. But then again, based off of how things have been going, do I really care if I could possibly die from it? Mm, not really, but you know, girl can try, I guess. Watson Whore Diary? Nah. Whatever. Alright, so... Let me just take a look here. Ah. Alright, let the hacking begin. Fucking worked! Hmm. So if we're able to hack this bad boy pretty easily, then... Yeah. This plan sounds like... It will work. End. Done. System's ours. The shard works. Good. The easy work we have done. To break into Arasaka Industrial Park will not be such a bed of roses. But before we discuss that... Okay. Ah, food. Of course. Sid, I have not eaten since yesterday. What? That's not good. Give me the best on the menu. I highly recommend the uh, yakitori today. Anything that isn't local, please. See you tomorrow. I mean, it's street food. I don't think you're going to be expecting good quality, big boy. I can't but believe I'm saying this, but this sock of scum might actually prove useful. What do you mean, He's Johnny? He's a well-trained dog. Needs orders. That's all. Mm. And when he outlives his purpose, we'll flatline him. What the fuck, bro? Chill, Johnny. He's Sokka scum to you. I know that, but Goro's not a bad guy. Not a bad guy. He was Saburo fucking Arasaka's bodyguard. Think his pretty eyes landed in that gig? Yeah, you have a point, but... He didn't kill us. What so. is this? Hey, um, yakitori. But it's nasty. Ooh. Okay, I have laid the plan. One, we break into Arasaka Industrial Park. One and a half, we hack Hanako Sama's float. Two, during the parade, with my help, you eliminate any snipers. Three, I get onto the float. Four, I convince Hanako-sama of the truth. If that really works. Forgot five. Oda zeroes us and pisses on our corpses. He won't ever be less than a foot away from Hanako. Oda would not dare raise his hand against me. What about me? That is a different matter. I would advise you to watch your distance. Oh, how convenient. That's cool, bro. That is so awesome. This your elaborate seppuku ritual? What? Why? As far as I can see, you're trying to get us killed. Really like to know why. The risks are substantial, yes. But we have no choice. Hanako-sama is our only chance. You have nothing to lose, as I do. I see it in your eyes. Damn. Now, we part. Reconnaissance is required. You're a stranger in a strange land. Going with you. Hmm. True. And you with your hands, skills, mind of a thief. Agreed. This we will do together. Good. I'm glad we agreed to something. Louder! Yeah, of our active security forces. President Myers has called this. He eliminated the last obstacle between himself and complete power. And they surrendered it to him. Tell me then, what do we call the murder of my father? Was that not a provocation? Was that a not Arasaka. An empire built to last. Before Yorinobu set fire to it from the inside. All of this began with him. The factions, power struggles, all of this. Ksa! 
up factions inside Arasaka? What are they? There are three. Kiji, Hato, and Taka. Kiji longs for stability. The old order. They are united behind Hanako-sama. The liberal wing, Hato. Support Michiko-sama. Saburo's granddaughter. I know little about her. And then there is Taka. Treacherous dogs who support Yorinobu. Not to mention even smaller factions. Tell me about him some other time. Where's Yorinobu's rebellious streak come from? No one knows this. Perhaps soon uh, I shall ask him in person. Wow, okay. Well, all this talking is making me hungry, so let me just take a bite. Why does Saburo tolerate it all? Can't get my head around it. Could have kept his son on a short leash. Arasaka-sama was a strong and disciplined man. The strongest man I have ever known. And yet, at a critical moment, he showed a weakness. For Yorinobu. For his daughter. Hmm. When Yorinobu fought his band of hounds, declared war on his own family. Arasaka-sama could have crushed him with one word. Yet he did not. For he did not wish his daughter to suffer. When Yorinobu returned, his tail between his legs. Like a banana. She persuaded her father to give him a second chance. How sweet. Do you understand? Hanako-sama saved Yorinobu from the consequences of his deeds. Wow. If it wasn't for her, he would have been fucked. Hmm. How interesting. Wait. Think she's complicit in Saburo's murder? I think we are all to blame. We allowed ourselves to be tricked. But we will correct this soon. Will you join me? Fuck it. What else do I have to do? Sure. Why not? Let us go from here. I hope you enjoyed it. Please come again. So dust and plastic. Damn. Well, since this is free food for me, I'll, I might as well just fucking eat it. Alright. Let's bounce. Okay. Huh? Yes, I'm... I have found a good place. Oh lord, look at you trying to rush me, bro. Yes, I'm coming, look. No entry. We must just climb up here. Bitch, you think I'm in a climbing mood? Wow, he thinks I'm in a climbing mood. Okay, that's cool. Um, yay, I love now, climbing. this way. Hmm. Man, where it Fortune smiles to us. It seems no one is here today. That is good. All right, I'll press the button right here. Roof, right? I'm assuming. Yep. Yeah. So. This reminds me of a time back in college when my college buddy was afraid of using the elevator because not only was it so fucking small, but it kept shaking the whole time we were in there. <laughs> I would call this a beautiful view of the city, if... If? If there was anything to admire. Damn, the shade! The city that much? Mm, perhaps I am simply homesick, as you say. Now. You must look for vulnerabilities, weaknesses, while I try to think of a diversion. Arasaka cannot discover our intentions. A bit of sabotage is just what we need to divert their attentions. Takimura, I just love the way you speak, bro. Your accent is so fucking cute. It's adorable. Like, I fucking love it. You will have the best view on the left. I will try here. 
This old scope should be good for something. Holy shit. Shall we begin? Oh, can you run and grab us a pizza? Take out the food? No. Just no. What? What you mean? If I had time and ingredients, I would prepare some onigiri with cod or with grilled salmon. Well, listen, fancy pants. We don't have time. And honestly, I want pizza. No, even better. With umeboshi plums. Mm. Arasaka-sama's favorite appetizer. Simple, tasty, and filling. You I found him chewing once. Pride on his face. Dude. It was a protein bar. That's funny. Boro Arasaka with a protein bar. Get out of here. Like a true soldier. You would have been a good chef. Okay, enough. Well, we'll both grow hungry. Too late, eh? Let's do this. Wow, it's a big ass place. So many ways to enter. Question is, where do I start? Transformer by the wall. See it? We should use it to step up. Okay, that'd be good. Then we got the guard post there. Footbridge, but it's guarded. You see it? We will use it to enter if there's no other way. Mm, okay. So what about this one? Antenna. Security hub's liable to be in that building. Perfect for sabotage. Hmm. <laughs> you know what? That's a good possibility. Pipes. See them? We could use them to get inside. This is not bad. Okay, so two points. Either the pipes or the footbridge. I think I've seen everything. You wish to come for this reconnaissance? Do you a job? I expected you to be more useful than this. Okay, damn. Uh, Give it another glance. Shit. All right. Wait, what's this? I see a car. Hold on. What about gate security system? Can I not scan? Okay. Am I not able to scan anything? Come on, let me scan. What a bitch. I can't even fucking scan. Told you, there's nothing left. Excuse me? Someone stepped in quicksand. Has serious we trouble. We have what? We... A god? I cannot so, help with we this. going in? The prost... Hmm. Is this what you said before entering Kampiki Plaza? I wish to be certain. We have not overlooked anything. We should wait and observe. If nothing out of the ordinary happens, then yes, we go in it. Sounds sensible. Better get comfy. <coughs> oh no, here we go again. Coughing, cause what? this fucking relic. No sudden movements. Do you see it? That cat? Fine looking feline. Thought they'd all disappeared from the city. It is the first animal I see in Night City, except cockroaches, of course. Ew! First it was birds, then dogs. Cats actually put up a fight longest. Perhaps it is a bacaneco. A baconator? A bacaneco? What's that? It is a cat spirit. It brings misfortune. Can restore the dead back to life. Shit, if that's the case, bring back Jackie. Believe in ghosts? The relic let you talk to the dead, does it not? Good point. I believe we are past belief. 
All right, you got me there. My grandmother knew many, many stories about Kitsune, Kappa, Bakeneko, too. Where'd you grow up, anyway? I am from the slums of Chiba 11. Once, when I was desperate to leave there, I... Ah, bad memories washed away by time. I long only for the simple days of childhood. My childhood, let's see. Racing my bobber for the first time through the hills. No, oh, and uh, first kiss in the middle of a synth cornfield. Hmm. I remember the chemical stench of the canal, where we boys washed our shirts. Corporate transporters sometimes passed through our slum, Arasaka selecting children, but only the clean ones. What the fuck? Transporters, you say? Armored and armed. Chiba 11 has the most murders in all Japan. Damn. It probably still has. Sounds like Detroit, if it's that bad. What they need kids for? To be corporate soldiers. Oh no. When they chose me, I felt I had won the lottery. In the army, I was given everything I lacked before. Discipline, regular meals, and when I proved I was gifted, an education. So how's a corporal rookie go from cleaning latrines to being Saburo Arasaka's bodyguard? The highest grades at the academy, service in the special forces, and Arasaka-sama's unmatched eye for talent. You're not saying Saburo fell for you at first sight. To make the right decisions with imperfect knowledge. That is how you become the world's most powerful man. 100 candidates standing at attention. And Arasaka-sama looked into each of our souls and chose the one who would serve him best. Wow, that is pretty fucking heavy and lucky, but damn. Did what you had to to keep from going hungry. I sense that you judge me, and mm. yet you have no right to. Unlike you and your friend Mr. Wells, I was not arrogant. I did not take the easy path. Dude. Saying you got no dirt on your hands? There are no clean hands, but it is important how they become dirty. The spill. How'd you sully yours? Arasaka gave me what no one else could. Values I could honor, live for. This was most important. You dirty your hands for money. I, in the name of principles. Wasn't judging you. And true, you oppose the corporations, their order, their world in a mindless way, yet you offer no worthy alternative. Take a look around. It's here. Your corporate world in its glorious splendor. You show me filthy streets as if no other world exists, as if nothing else is possible. What of the millions who work for Arasaka and receive stability, safety... Chiba 11 slum rats? They're there. Scraping scraps out of scop tins. Corpse decided that, too. We cannot fix everything at once. Yeah, of course. You already forget what happened at Tom's Diner? People hate Corpse more than anything. Can't blame them, either. Got some regrets, but... Clipping from Arasaka ain't one of them. Sometimes I wish to become a nomad. To leave this world. Forget everything. Really? That's pretty crazy since you were once a nomad, but Arasaka took you out of that life. Nomads aren't lone wolves with egos, whether they're blood or not. Family comes first. 
Yes, but we need not quibble over details. Mm, I guess. P potato, p potato, tomato, tomato. Do you know what I think? What's that? That day in Kompik, we both have lost someone important. And we are not at peace with this. So we seek conflict, argue eagerly. Finally starting to make some sense. It is the duty of the living to atone for the dead. Hanako-sama shall aid us in our mission. Or she'll make sure we die for good. Bakaneko got sick of us, looks like. It will find its own way. Hmm. As will we. I think it is time to do something. Hmm? Oof. <laughs> Getting worse. You do not look so bad. Yeah, probably physically, not me mentally. Oh lord. Well, at least with our little talk, it gave me a little bit more insight on who I'm dealing with. And I'm surprised he was actually vulnerable enough to briefly share with me. A glimpse of his past life. Yeah, it sucks that he was under Arasaka's control, but at the end of the day, we're two lone wolves with the same mission. Him avenging his employer who was killed, and me avenging Jackie, because in a way, Arasaka is responsible as well. Yeah, we dived in, but at the end of the day, he died on Arasaka's property, so... I'm still gonna avenge my friend. Alright, buddy. Okay, bet. Alright, so obviously the main mission would be to break into the Arasaka Industrial Park. I do have the option to steal the truck though, just to get in. You're just standing there menacingly, like, bro, come the fuck down. Alright, so how would I steal a truck? If there's no truck here. Hmm. Damn. I can't even do anything. Alright, bet. So the next truck that comes in... I'm gonna just ransack the place because it seems like that would be the safest way for me to get in. Bingo! I got a truck! You dead ass ran over me? You are kidding me. Fucking rude. Bitch, get out! Yo, this is awkward as hell. Not only did he run me over, he had the audacity to keep fucking going. Anyways, I got the truck. Oh my god, I'm actually doing it. Let me see if I'm able to pass in. Yeah? Thank you for watching this episode. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next time.